Stock synths and sounds can be a little bland, uninspiring, boring, and lack life. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make those synths and stock sounds sound that little bit more expensive, analog, and warm. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Fabio from Noise hosting here at Boombox, the home of audio collaboration and also a great place to store, share and synergize your creativity. Link in the description below. If you're still using Dropbox messages, iMessage notes, email and a bunch of other applications to send track feedback back and forth, you're doing it all wrong go check out Boombox. Maybe you've been here before or you haven't, but just to remind you, every month, Boombox is giving away $500 worth of gift cards that you can spend on any studio equipment that you like. All I want you to do is comment down below with what your free favorite plugin is and what you use it on. There's a link to the project that I'm gonna be showing you today in the description below, along with all the plugins that I'm gonna be using. So if you wanna get your hands on it, you know where it is. So we've got three awesome synth parts that we're gonna be focusing on. I'm just using the retro synth here by Logic. This is the dance basic lead, which I've edited ever so slightly. Let's take a listen to it soloed. The first plugin we're gonna apply is Valhalla Supermassive, which is a free reverb slash delay. It's really funky, it's really weird, and this adds a lot of character to the sound. Now, I like to use it more as a reverb than a delay, and the setting that I'm going to load onto here is called Massive Vocal in Reverbs Medium. So we're gonna adjust it to get the flavor that we want. So the mix is at about 50% here. I'm also going to bring down this low filter, which is cutting out the lows. I don't want it to cut out too much of the lows and same with the high frequencies. already sounding so much better. Next, I'm using this tape emulation plugin by Chow Tape Model. Now, although not the most aesthetically pleasing plugin, it doesn't look like the tape plugins that you usually see, it does sound amazing, and for two things in particular. On the right-hand side, we have Flutter and Wow. Now, Flutter and Wow add a sort of random pitch modulation. What's really cool about pitch modulation is it does emulate what old oscillators used to do. Because voltage is inconsistent, it would actually make the oscillators go in and out of tune. And we're gonna try and overdo this ever so slightly to get a slightly wonky sound. Now this sounds really good, but I want it to feel a little bit warmer. So I'm going to use the Origin Vintage Plugin Filter by Cymatics. This does a bunch of things. It's got saturation, it's got a reel-to-reel -reel tape hiss emulator, it's got chorus, and then it's got this movement dial, which is a kind of panning, flanger, phaser, and it's also got a low cut. I'm actually gonna turn off the low cut, the high pass filter, and we're just going to use the filter here, take out some of the brittleness from the high frequencies. Let's also add a bit of saturation. All right, let's take a listen without everything and then with. We've lost a little bit of volume and high frequencies and there's a bit of low end that's been added through the saturation. So we're gonna cut that out and then we're just gonna boost the high frequencies ever so slightly and the overall gain of the channel.
All right, next we have the bass. Let's take a listen. Again, I created the bass with the stock synth from Logic Retro Synth. Uh, I took the antimatter synth preset and then just edited it a little bit. So I brought the cutoff down, changed the filter envelope and added a little bit more of that envelope generator here. It's a great sound, but I wanted it to sound more analog, thicker, fatter, warmer. And before I did that, I just wanted to start with the compressor to control the dynamics ever so slightly, basically to control the punch. Fast attack, medium release, ratio of eight. And you could apply these settings to pretty much any bass and they're gonna sound good. We're just gonna bring the threshold down. We're looking for a little bit of compression here, not too much. This is gonna help control the punch and add a little bit of sustain. Now for character, I'm gonna use a tube style compressor and here I'm using Colin by Analog Obsession. Again, completely free and don't forget that these project files are available in the link in the description below if you want to download them and open them and use them at home and copy my effects chains. So we're gonna drive this compressor, try and get some tube saturation out of it, adjust the output level and then dial back the wet mix so we have some of the dry and some of this newly affected sound. And you can hear there's a bit of grit that the tube saturation is adding. It's also making it feel that little bit more squelchy. The Saturator by Bedroom Producer Blog is a tube and tape saturator in one with a high pass filter and a low pass filter. So pretty much everything you need to add some of that tasty distortion because remember, saturation is essentially distortion. So as we can hear, it has added a lot of grit and high frequencies, but we can use the low pass filter here to bring that out. Sounds warmer, denser, and a lot more interesting. To finish it off, I've added some linear phase EQ to roll off some of the low end and to boost one of the lower subby notes, as well as a compressor, which is side chaining to the kick. Let's hear a quick before and after. Don't forget that Boombox is giving away $500 worth of studio equipment every single month. So make sure you comment down below with what your favorite free plugin is and what you use it on to be automatically entered into the competition. And don't forget that these project files here are available in the link in the description below, as well as a list of all the free plugins that I'm using in this video. Okay, let's check out the pads. To start off, again, I'm using the Origin plugin by Cymatics. I'm shaving off some of those high frequencies and I'm adding a bit of saturation. And this is just giving it a warmer tone. Next up, we have OTT by X. And I know a lot of you have seen this. I'm using it here for the upward compression to increase the sustain of the sound and to add some of those high frequencies back that Origin took away.
Now, if you know and love synthesizers, you will have heard of the Juno 106. Don't worry if you haven't, it's an old synthesizer from the 1980s, which was very famous, especially for its chorus. Now, luckily for us, we don't have to purchase a synthesizer from the 1980s to be able to hear that chorus because Tal has created a plugin version where you can select not one, but both of the choruses individually or at the same time. It gives it this beautiful, lush, vintage and creamy feel. And to finish it off, I even sidechained it to the kick. So here's the pad with and without that processing. And here's a before and after of the whole thing completely dry and then processed. So there you have it, a bunch of free plugins added to stock sounds to make them sound so much more interesting, warmer, a little more vintage, and fill up all that space in an analog sounding way. I wanna end this video by saying thank you to Boombox for making these tutorials happen. Don't forget, all the information is in the link in the description below, and I'll see you very soon. Welcome to the home of collaboration. Peace.